and welcome to Cameras, Lights, and Lenses. I'm your host, Michael Diallo McLinden, and our guest for today is singer, actress, and filmmaker Latoya Gardner. Latoya, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Michael. Now, Latoya, a lot of people know you from theater and film. Did you always know that you wanted to be an actress? I didn't, um, but I've always sang. I always wanted to sing. Singing brings me a lot of joy, so I guess it just naturally led into acting. So when did you make that move to actually uh, audition, or did someone approach you? How did that happen for you? Um, I actually, um, off and on, I've acted my whole life. Um, it's something that, again, I tied with uh, singing, uh, but as I got older, I became more passionate about wanting to tell stories and specifically for me stories mean testimonies so I, I got really passionate about wanting to do that. As I mentioned a lot of people know you from your theatrical work uh, you've done uh, numerous films Sister Act or uh, uh, theatrical credits Sister Act or Raising in the Sun uh, just numerous plays how did you how do you compare that with your filmmaking? Um, in regards to filmmaking I I approach them the same, telling the story, trying to be really specific but also sensitive to the character that's being portrayed because you never know whose life you're going to touch when you are playing a role. So you want to come at it with a, a form of sensitivity. Um, it's just really important to me to touch people's lives. I don't want to just walk into a role and just be there or, you know, it's fun for me, but I don't just want to have fun with it. I want to touch people and say, hey, did you get the message? And this year you've decided to branch out and make it also a business venture for you. Talk about that. Um, yes. Um, this year in the coming months, um, I'm going to be doing a collaboration with Fly So High Entertainment. Um, I'm going to have my directorial debut uh, for a film called Shadows of a Sunset. Um, it's a film about uh, basically the slow descent into dementia and the effects. It's a family drama about the effects of uh, dementia, uh, specifically about a son watching uh, his father go slowly into dementia and how he has to manage that as well as managing his life and all the things that come along with taking care of a family member. Will you be acting in that film as well? I will not. Oh, wow. Now, I hope that as you make this transition to directing, you'll also continue to act. Well, can, what can we look forward to in 2017 and throughout this year? From I am going to continue to act. In fact, I am going to be acting in Actors Bridge Ensemble, a production of Detroit 67. Now, uh, can we also look forward to more singing? I know that uh, you've been a lot of musicals. Uh, will there be any recording, or how can we catch you singing throughout Nashville and other places? Hopefully so. Um, nothing in the works as of yet, but we'll see. Now, I happened to com catch a commercial where your daughter was actually acting. <laughs> Is she going to be also in more films and more commercials? What can we look forward to from Alyssa? I would like for her to be, but Alyssa is actually more into her own artistry. She is actually more of a visual artist. She draws um, her favorite genre of artistry is anime, and she's very good at it. Talk to us for a second, if you don't mind, about your character and have faith. Uh, was that a hard character for you to portray, or how much are you like your character in that film? <laughs> Lisa, um, Lisa Kennedy is a doctor who, unfortunately, she's had a, a lot of, of misgoings. And I am, in a way, like her because in the past years, I've had my own misgoings with grief. But Lisa suffers from grief in a different way. Um, but uh, a lot of times, loss is loss. And how you deal with it, um, specifically in her case, um, whether or not you, you go to God and deal with that grief or if you trust that God is going to deal with your grief and that you'll be able to move past it, um, that kind of sets the tone for the film. This is not your first film with Habakkuk Films. I think you were also in Keyed. Uh, mm -hmm. How did you all develop this uh, relationship? I mean, this is your second film with them. That seems like maybe this is a relationship that'll continue. All right. Um, I was blessed to get my first role of Rocky um, in the uh, in Keyed, and working with Howard Bill, as you know, um, has been amazing. And so it was. It was only sheer excitement to come and work with him again for Have Faith. Um, I was asked to come in and 
I really just enjoy working with him, not just him, but everyone on the cast and crew that comes along. It's kind of like one big family reunion. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's joyful, but it's also um, in both situations, you're telling a relevant story. And we need more of that because everyone needs to see themselves. Sometimes when you're going through something, you need to see it. So. Well, we really appreciate you being on Cameras, Lights, and Lenses, and we hope that as you continue to get all of these titles and businesses <laughs> that you'll come back and visit us again. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Latoya. <laughs> well, that wraps it up for this edition of Cameras, Lights, and Lenses. I'm your host, Michael Diallo-McLendon, and we'll see you next week on Bounce TV Nashville. <laughs>